Hi there, it's uh, DriveWire DIY. As you can see, one of the uh, drawbacks of working on your uh, driveway is it's pouring with rain, middle of summer, it's pouring with rain. Just doing a quick tour of you on this C. Lee Blake breathing clutch uh, bleeding system. Uh, just plugged my brakes and just thought I'd take you through what I've got. I uh, did an unboxing on this as well a while ago. So basically, this is it. Uh, this is how it comes. Basically, all you do is put your brake fluid through in it, pump it up to uh, 10 psi. Don't go any more than that because you'll blow your seals. Uh, or uh, have a look at your owner's handbook and see what uh, how high you can actually go. But they do recommend 10 psi, and that's really really important. So basically, what you do, you've got the pump here. You pump it up until well, put your cap on first under there. Uh, this is underneath the car. Just going to show you what I do. Uh, got it there at my this is my little canister uh, it's got fluid in already so there's no air that comes back through it get your right spanner and then break it and then the fluid will just come through getting all the air out of it and when the air is coming through just tying it up uh, and that's it really make sure you put your cover back on when you do it make sure it's all sealed because you don't want to draw there's your little covers and then just put it back in. Obviously spray a little bit of penetrating oil on it as well before you start, and that's it really. I mean, this is more of a review on the actual Sealy kit itself, and it works very, very well, so I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. So basically when you're uh, pumping it up, as long as the, the actual system is pressurized and there's no leaks on it, basically what you do, you see the pump at the top, you start pumping that. Eventually, you'll see the needle that starts to rise, so that's nearly at 10 psi, and that should stay like that if the uh, if the system's actually got no leaks in it. So, uh, so there's two ways you can release the pressure: is either crack the uh, bleed nipple or take it out of here, which is the key, which is the uh, relief. Uh, re pressure release valve, if you want to call it, if you will. So there you go, that's gone out, so now the pressure's been relieved from the system. Uh, when you finish as well, one of the things that I meant to mention was on here. So when you've finished, obviously you want to let the air out because this is now a pressurised system. So that's it, all the air comes out by pressing that. Okay. Thanks for watching.